This May, as we observe Mental Health Awareness Month, we are focusing on a crucial aspect of community health, mental health first aid. And joining us tonight is Director of Behavioral Health at the Jeff Masarak Behavioral Health Center, Dr. Allison Golden. Dr. Golden, thanks for being with us. Right off the bat, can you explain to people what mental health first aid is and why it's important? Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. So Mental Health First Aid is a national program that is designed to teach the lay person, anyone who's not a trained mental health professional, how to support, recognize signs and symptoms and provide basic support to their loved ones and their community. Well, can you also just walk us through some of the most common signs and symptoms that people might overlook that we should all be aware of? Absolutely. So looking at, you know, friends and family, we know them well. So thinking about changes that we see in behavior or mood, eating even, right? Or they're telling us they're not sleeping. They're not doing things they used to love to do anymore. We're seeing them complain about some psychosomatic symptoms. My stomach hurts, my head hurts, right? On a regular basis. They're withdrawing. They're more irritable. They're having difficulty concentrating. They're ruminating about things and having high levels of anxiety. Those are just some of those mental health symptoms that we want to be aware of in our loved ones. And summer break upon us very soon. Kids going to be spending more time at home, maybe on their devices. Can you talk about the impact of that might have on their mental health and what parents should be looking out for and what they can do? Absolutely. So we want to find that balance between utilizing technology in a way that's helpful and healthy, helping them connect, right, or de-stress. But we also want to be mindful that it's not taking away that sense of community and activity. We know how important physical activity is and how important community and connection to others is. So really just trying to help find that balance for them about using it to support those things instead of to take away from those things. And doctor, we have about 20 seconds left. Any final thoughts that would be important for people at home to know? Absolutely. I think it's just important to utilize this idea of Mental Health Awareness Month to talk about mental health, right? To make open space amongst our friends and our family and our colleagues and loved ones and ourselves to allow that to be part of the conversation so that people feel safe enough to be speaking about this topic. Dr. Golden, thank you so much for sharing your insight with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much.